Hey, up troops, does this ever happen to you? Oh, she, she's bathroom. Uh, I die to frost mats an embarrassing amount of times. I don't even want to get into numbers. This time, we're going to be looking at our frost guide, and we're also going to go through some site setups where we can be that frost getting those kills. So we'll keep the format exactly the same. We'll look at the loadout, the basics, some tips, and then we'll get into the site setups. We haven't even waffled that much, but that's enough waffling. Let's get stuck into it. Right then, let's get into frost loadout then, shall we? And there is no doubt in my mind what the best loadout is for frost. She has access to the Super 90, the C1, the MK1, the ITA-12, a bulletproof camera, and a deployable shield. As you can see, the right-hand side is, in my opinion, is the best loadout for Frost. The Super 90 apparently used to be like an absolute mad shotgun years and years ago. I've never, ever used the Super 90. I don't know if it's any good. I, I, I couldn't tell you. However, the C1 is a tremendous weapon, especially when you've got the 1.5 on there. I also run extended barrel, so it gives you just that little bit more damage range. You can run suppressor these days if you want to. It sounds great as well on this gun, um, but I prefer extended barrel myself. And because the recoils, it, you don't need a flash hider for the recoil. I would run suppressor or barrel personally, uh, and a vert grip. And when it comes to sidearm, there's no doubt the ITA-12 is the best option, along with a deployable shield. So, um, I mean, now and then a bulletproof camera might be a, a, the right option if it's like a, a, a niche job or a niche site that you need a camera for. But a shield is sort of 99 times out of 10. Well going to be a, uh, a better option than the uh, the bulletproof shield you know what's mad uh, sorry than the bulletproof camera not the bulletproof shield so i was recording I, i've recorded the loadout part after the, the the rest of the video so i've just said 99 times out of 10 and earlier on when i was recording a part on emerald plains i said oh i haven't said 99 times out of 10 for ages so we're digressing slightly now but you're going to hear that part later in the video and you're going to think well you said it right at the start of this video but i'm actually recording this bit after uh, I recorded the other bit. So anyway, don't worry about that. If you hear that, that's why. So yeah, for me, in summary, without waffling on about this video, we're going to looking at the C1, the ITA-12, and the deployable shield. Okay, getting started with the basics then, and we don't really need to spend too long on this because it's it's fairly cut and dry. And, and what a lovely setting this is, by the way. Just me and Sledge and Shelley in front of the fire. It's really pleasant. Right, Frost gets access to three of these things, which you can see in Frost's hands now. They're called welcome mats. I'll put one on the floor and you can see what they look like. This is essentially a bear trap that when an enemy steps in the middle of the pressure pad around here, however, it's the whole mat on the siege. It's not just this middle part. It's any part of the mat. The clamp will snap shut and it will knock the attacker into a down but not out state immediately. No one dies instantly from the traps. However, if you walk into them whilst you're up, you will be put into a down but knock out, not out state. However, if you're already downed by getting shot or by standing in a goo mine or however else you've been downed, if you're already down and you crawl into a frost mat, that will kill you instantly. Um, so you can die instantly, technically, if you're already down. Okay, so we've got this on the floor, and let's have a look at this bad boy in action. Sledge has very kindly decided to he's going to step in the middle of the frost mat, welcome mat, bear trap, whatever you want to call it. If I just position myself here, or we'll walk in front of the mat. Now, you will notice the round will end straight away, but that's because we're in a 1v1. So you'll see as soon as Sledge goes anywhere near the mat on the corner, it'll snap shut, and it'll, uh, it'll kill Sledge. Bang. GM. Now, because it's a one-on-one, -on -one, he can't go into a down but not out because he's got no one to revive him. So if, if it was a 2v1 situation, Sledge would have just been down there instead. Okay, so carrying on with the basics of the mat, I just want to talk about the HP quickly because it can be quite important at times. So the HP of the mats is 70 HP. Now, the reason I've got a Nokia instead is because Nokia... I sound like I said Nokia then. The reason I've got a Nokia 3310 here is because Nok has a Deagle, which does 71 damage. So, strictly speaking, Nox FMG should destroy these in two shots, and the second one should be destroyed in one shot with the Deagle. So, FMG, two shots, and the Deagle, which does over 70 damage, one shot. Right, great example. Well played, Nox. Thanks very much. So, yeah, it has 70 HP, uh, the mat. So, whether that's a combination of sh um, in multiple shots from a weaker gun, one shot from a Deagle, or a, a high-powered DMR, if there's any DMRs that do have se over 70 damage. I don't know if it's off of my head. But the point is, it's 70 HP. The other thing is melee in the frost mat. A melee on the frost mat, I mean, it's dangerous because you've got to get close to it to melee it. But if you do melee it, it'll be destroyed in one hit. Thank you, Nock. So where should we be placing these mats then? And what's the best way of catching the attackers out? Now, we're going to go into a couple of examples. Well, about four or five examples later in the video of good setups, good site setups with frost. But just to give you a brief overview, under windows is the classic place. An enemy hops in through the window don't know the frost mats below them i die i die for frost mats 
so many times, it's quite embarrassing. When enemy hops in, boom, they're in the frost mass. The other one, which is one of my all-time favorites, and the setup on chalet that I'm going to show you does include something like this, but not quite in this location. Is a frost mass at the top of the stairs, and you think that looks super obvious, right? But the reason that works is because in Siege and every other FPS, when you're coming up the stairs, you're already looking at where you think the enemy's going to be. They're either going to be on this door, or they're going to be on the double door on Mez, or if this is walls open on the on the uh, on the half wall, perhaps. But you're not looking at the floor in front of you like this when you're going up the stairs. As you're going up the stairs, you're looking like this. And it, you see, even then, even though we know it's there, when we're going up the stairs like that, you can't even see it. And before you know it, I die honestly in the, in like in my games in my rank matches, I die to frost mats more than anything else. It's it's really really frustrating, but. That works way more times than you think it would. But yeah, anywhere that's like high traffic where someone's got to vault over something. I'll just show you another quick thing that I really like to do as well. It doesn't really work on this map so well, but um, Club House, and we'll get onto that later. It works really well. You can make a rotate like this that the defenders have to, sorry, the attackers have to vault through if they want to. And you can just place a frost mat right in behind that rotate. And this, we'll go onto the Clubhouse example that shows this in the bathroom. But that works so well. I mean, you can't even see it until it's really really late but obviously when you're coming through here before you know it boom and what you do really is you'd leave that bottom wall a little bit higher up and it hides it a little bit better but yeah underneath windows underneath um rotates or at the top of the stairs and the very final one that i'll show you it's just right next to doors where people aren't looking so somewhere like this if you put it right in the middle it's going to get seen right if you put it just to the left of the door here knowing that attackers are coming that attackers can't really come from this side because of the wall Attackers are going to be coming from the left here, and the way they're going to be looking is like this, and looking at the piano, and looking at the bootcase there, and the site here, and looking at the rotators somewhere just behind there that we just made. You'll be looking at those areas, and when they get brave enough, they're going to push in, they might flash. I haven't got a flash, I've got a shield. They might flash this door and then push in, and as they push in, they're like this. Before they know it, they're over the frost map. So there's a ton of different places you can place them, but yeah, mainly under windows, top of stairs, under rotates, and just like snuck around little doors like that, for example, if we were walking through that door. So before we get into the setups, then, I'm just going to show you two quick tips when it comes to placing frost mats. One is sort of a cool tip, but doesn't really work that well, or doesn't work that often. And the other one is a really good tip. So, tip number one, if you want to disguise your frost mat somewhat, you can place your frost mat down. Rip the barricade off the wall. So you've got the debris on the floor. You can do it as many times as you want as well. And obviously, it's not guaranteed every time but you can rip the barricade off the wall that isn't a very good example but trust me sometimes the pieces fall on top of the frost mat and it hides it quite well and then you can just rebarricade the window again it's a bit of a you know that's what i mean by it doesn't work every time like it's not so good but sometimes when you peel the barricade down it really does hide the frost mat well to be fair um that isn't the best example but i'd be here all day if i was trying to get a good example to work so that's just one thing the second thing i want to talk to you about when it comes to frost mat placements on windows is a particular busy window and let's just use a double window over here because this is definitely a, a more busy window than the the single window is mainly because you can be held from the single window here whereas you can't be held from the double window unless you're from here like it's just safer to jump in really when it comes to play see how those see how that barricades drop down and it would have been that would have covered the frost mat a lot better but yeah I'm, i don't know why couldn't have that worked when i was doing the example over there anyway so when it comes to frost mats and especially double windows you can place two, instead of placing one sideways you can place two lengthways. And the reason why this is effective, and I'll show you now, is because you know it takes a certain amount of shots that we discussed at the start of the video. It takes a certain amount of shots to destroy a frost mat. Using Frost's gun here, it's two shots per mat, right? So that means when I'm jumping through this window, if there's only one the frost mat there, I've only got to get two shots off as I jump through the window. If there's two frost mats there, I've got to get four shots off and I've got to adjust my aim as I jump in. Now, I know that they're both there and I'm going to try and jump in and destroy both mats to see if I would have died. So we know they're both there, right? So would that have worked? Or would have been close. But bear in mind, that's only just worked, and we knew it was there. We've got no threat of attackers peeking us from here at the same time. We've got the knowledge that they're already there, but you can see if there's two two lengthways, granted it, wastes, it uses two frost mats. But if you're going to get a kill from it, using a frost mat for a kill or for a down is really, really useful. Whilst I'm thinking about it, this site's a good example. Don't forget, you can also confirm... Once you um, get the enemy down in your frost mat, you can confirm the kill through sh through soft floors. So you know that the soft floor is here, and you know that the soft floor is here, right? So you could play below here, and if you, you hear someone go in the frost mat, you can confirm the kill from below there. 
where you can confirm the kill from below here. So don't forget, you can place frost mats. I mean, this is a really... I think Pox Unlocks once did a YouTube video about this where you can stand and... I'm, and it, this works really well. You can place your frost mat under this window and you can play here holding this window. But be obvious about the fact that you're holding this window. And attackers will go around here instead to enter the map and will fall into your frost mat or, or likely to fall into your frost mat. But yeah, don't forget, you can confirm kills from below. Let's get into the setups. Right, so let's get started with the frost setups then. We're going to start with Chalet. This is one of my favorite places to uh, to play frost. So the first one's going to go on the piano window. Now, I'm not going to talk about shield placements, but if you, I know I am doing by saying that, but stick your shield on the piano. You'll be helping everybody out. The next one goes under the bathroom window. I'm going to show you a nice angle you can play with frost here as well. And then your final mask goes at the top of Solarium stairs. You will not believe how many kills this gets. Mainly because the Solarium stairs are a push that happens later in the round. But as everyone comes up, they're like this. No one looks at the stairs. It's generally a sort of last 20 second push and they haven't got time to be looking. So it's a nice angle you can use, by the way. Just make a hole on that side of the wall, which is really good for holding half wall from here if you need to anyway. Then you want your rotate here as standard. And then you want a line of sight on the left hand side of this wall as you look out. Reinforce this wall here. And then you play in solar. Now you don't have to worry about the bathroom jumping too much because you've got the frost mat there. You don't have to worry about the stairs too much because you've got the frost mat there. And you can also hold onto the mez balcony which you can see from that line of sight that you've made through the rotate. Through that wall that you, uh, hole that you made in the wall there. Sorry, one more hole you can make as well as here. So you can hold bathroom window from this angle on the door. But if you need to, you can also peek at that side. But then, you can, like I say, you can hold big window. You get so many kills at the top of big window here. Just with people trying to peek the corner upside down. But yeah, really important angle there. Right the way out onto the balcony door. And you can see all the way across to the edge. So if someone's just peeking it to the side. Just from one, one spot here, you can hold the balcony, big window, bathroom window, solarium stairs, solarium windows. You can hold a ton of places just with a line of sight like this. That's the chalet setup. So we've moved on to Villa now when we're going to be defending Statue and Trophy. And it's the usual setup where you reinforce these two walls, but leave this wall unreinforced when we make a line of sight. Like so. Put your shield... In fact, I'll come on to the shield in a second. I'm going to talk about the shield now. We'll also make a line of sight in closet as well. So we'll do that on this wall. So it's the, if you're in bathroom, it's the rightmost wall. If you're on the other side of the closet, it's the leftmost. And then, when you, and then reinforce the middle one as well. Now, when it comes to the frost mats, you want one here in closet. You want one here in master. And then you've got a choice. If you, are you more worried about red stairs down here or astro stairs over there? I'll show you both and you can choose which one you want to do. When it comes to a set of stairs, and we'll look at this in a, on another setup that we'll get onto before the end of the video on Emerald Plains, when you've got a set of stairs that have like a sort of landing halfway up, frost masks are really effective because the enemy is looking up towards the next set of stairs because they could be being held from here by a defender that's holding like this, for example, or like this. So as the attacker's coming up the stairs, they're never looking for... You, you don't walk up stairs like this in Siege, you know what I mean? You, you're not at home. As you're going up the stairs, you're looking like this. Wondering who's going to peek you over the top of here or peek you from um, from Aviator there. And as you do it, you walk into... I've died to that frost mat so many times. It's a really strong one. And the other one is over here in Astro. Again, it's just the top of Astro stairs. So much like we did in Solarium on, uh, on Chalet. And again, as you're coming up these stairs... Don't put it... By the way, don't put them too close to the edge of the, um, of the stair. So they can't be seen from like here. Like there, we know that's there, right? It's kind of obvious. So try and put them back by just about by about half a foot. I usually, if you're on most staircases, there's like a lip of what the stair material ends with, and then what the step, then like sort of four material starts with. As you can see the line there, put it like six inches to the other side of there if you can. So as you're coming up now, you see how we still can't see that there. And by this point, you're looking over here. You're ADSing into bathroom. You're looking into uh, into split or the back of Astro. And you're in there. So, yeah, one uh, one closet, one master. And then with your shield. Go and put your shield here. However, put your shield on a different angle. Like, put your shield so you're facing in. And you'll get a better angle on the shield than if you put it the other way around. So it still does exactly the same job. You can still see through the mirrors. Uh, through the, like, little windows. You can get a much better angle looking around the shield this way than you can if it's the other way. And also, place it like this. You've got a little gap there. And you can hold into, uh, into closet from there if you need to. However, I wouldn't play there as Frost. I would play around this area. Bear in mind, these two walls are reinforced. But from this one area, you 
make a little hole along here. In this one area here, now we can hold master window. We can hold the closet jumping, which is super important to hold. Because that's a solid floor there as well, so you can't see floor there. So hold the closet jumping. You can hold the uh, master window. You can hold bottom red stairs if you need to from here. You can see that the red stairs are there. You can hold statue. You can hold in the trophy if you come to this side. You can shoot out this wardrobe. I haven't got time to show you now, otherwise we'll be here all day. But you can shoot out that wardrobe. Will the shotgun? Will the shotgun prevail? Uh, I want to say I haven't got time to show you. You know, for a while maybe. There you go. You can shoot out that wardrobe. So now you can hold from here and hold trophy door. Really, really power position. Yeah, make sure you leave these lines aside. And I've spoken about this on a few videos, especially that villa setup video. Like folks in lower elo seem to think that if there's holes looking into sight, they're in danger. Yes, but also the other way as well. The attackers are now in danger. Like, imagine trying to jump through that window and someone's just holding this angle. It's impossible to win the fight when you're coming from the other side. So that's the villa setup. So we're on to clubhouse now and we're defending gym bedroom. This one is an absolute classic setup by Frost. You've probably seen it a million times. So we're going to utilize that rotate that we were talking about when we were on chalet at the start of the video. You can see we've made a rotate here. This is where we're going to place the frost mat underneath the first one. It's right underneath the rotate. It's so many, they honestly, get just so many kills. People pushing through the breach. And they don't want to push around into gym because they've got the feet hold all the way along here. And as they jump through into the bathroom, boom, good night, Vienna. The next one we're going to go with is gym window. Now you want to make a rotate here. And I'll tell you why in a second. I'm going to do the full setup for this side, by the way. So obviously we're going to talk about frost maps, but I'm also going to tell you about where else you want the lines assigned. So one on a gym window, and then you've got a choice now. You can either put one on ma master window, which I don't think is a very popular jump in personally. I think construction is a far more popular jump in, or even more so, is probably CC jump in. People jump in here trying to take them to get to shoot the radio. Another popular jump in is here trying to take cash control, but it's up to you. You can either go CC window, uh, construction window, which is there, or bedroom window, which you can see there. So they're the three frost mats. And when it comes to lines of sight, please make sure you don't reinforce this wall. And you make a line of sight across this wall. Now you can see that these three, you know, like the busiest area on this site when you defend it, which is along here, right? A highway. A highway as it's known. Now you can defend it from this window. If you do try and get kills on highway, don't stand in the window because you get absolute cretins just stood on the roof. If you are going to peek highway, peek it from like back here. But remember, you're probably going to have a Cali or a Glass that's over this aircon unit because you can stand on that or stand just behind it and like head glitches. Just make sure you're not getting shot from there. You've got these absolute weirdos who just sit on a roof, so just be worried about that. It's not always the most sensible thing to do until you're later in the round when the, the attackers are more worried about getting through the windows. So, as you see from uh, from this angle, making a line of sight here and that rotate there, I can now cover gym window, bedroom window, and construction window, all from here. And then, of course, CC window, all from this one spot. Now, you want to reinforce this wall and this wall. And you want to reinforce this wall and this wall. Now, if you're feeling particularly like you want to be bunkered up, you can also reinforce the third wall as well. I sometimes make a rotate here, though, so I can just... If the push is coming from garage... Excuse me. If the push is coming from garage, you can just dip out. You can hold garage window from there, or you can hold bottom red. Uh, I sometimes fully... It depends on how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling fraggy, which is not very often, to be honest with you, um, I'll, re I'll make a rotate and try and get aggressive, or I'll just bunker up in here. This is such a powerful place to play. Like, most of the ways into sight are, uh, are de uh, like denied from getting in from there. So um, The only other thing you could do is play in bathroom. Put your shield down here. And once you've made the feet holes, I'm not going to make them all, but make, a, make shotgun holes all the way along the... Uh, the uh, wall here so once you've made the feet holes all the way across once you this wall's reinforced so once you're in here bear in mind you don't want to be standing on this because this is soft floor if you go below this is bar underneath you can see there's pipes there but that's the bar double door there so you don't want to be standing here too much because you can get naded from below this is solid floor so you can't get naded from below if you study here. so try and stand on this as much as you can rather than this but from this position you can hold the breach you can hold the master window and if someone's jumping in the gym window, you can see... Uh, sorry, if I make one more shotgun hole. If you're holding from here, you can see late in the round, you can see if anyone jumps in into gym from here as well. And obviously, the door there and the door here. It's a really, really powerful position. It's like a... You know, they talk about anchors in Siege. It's like a true anchor spot. Um, don't get rid of the toilet because it's going to leak everywhere. I bet this was a quality armored shanks as well. Why are we talking about toilets? Oh, no way. As if they've actually got like the inner float or whatever you call that in the toilet. I didn't realise they had like the end of the room. Yeah, this is turned into a toilet discussion video. Right, moving on. That's Clubhouse.
So we're on Emerald Plains now, which is not a, a map we've spoken about much recently on the channel. However, with Frost, it's it's free cheese, man. I'm telling you, the two staircases are absolute free cheese. You remember when I was talking to you about Villa, how you have like the sort of landing halfway up the stairs? Well, this map is an absolute dream. So your first one goes halfway up these stairs, and it's the classic. You can't see it here, and as they're going up the stairs, they're looking over the banister where they're going to get shot from. That works 99 times out of 10. I feel like we haven't said that for ages. 99 times out of 10. Oh. That will work. Right, what's even funnier then, right, is you're going to put one on the green stairs on the other side as well. So you're going to be left with one mat left over. So you can either put another mat at the top of these stairs, which uh, this has happened to me a few times, right? Someone goes down on that mat and gets rezzed, and then they go, oh, thank God for that, I'm sick of frost. Anyway, right, let's push. And then they go upstairs and get frost matted again. So either put another one at the top of those stairs, or let's go over to green stairs. And you can do exactly the same thing here on green stairs as well. So you want one. Remember, not right at the top of the stairs, just back a touch. At the top of those stairs, and if you want your third one, you can go at the top of here as well. This one's probably a little bit more well hidden. But again, like, you, you know, you're coming up the stairs and you're just looking like this. Isn't it? I knew that was there then, and you, know, you still struggle to see, don't you? So, um, yeah, it's not really a site setup, but it's just for any of the sites upstairs. I am telling you, you'll get kills with those frost mats on Emerald Plains. So there we have it. There's frost. I mean, the welcome mat is such a simple gadget. I swear it's got a magnetic force on, though, because I'm attracted to them everywhere I go. And I, I just step into them all the time. It's rather embarrassing, actually. For those of you that don't know, I also stream on Twitch four days a week as well. Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. My name on Twitch is exactly the same as YouTube. You can see it below now. If you haven't followed me on Twitch yet, go over there and say hello. We play ranked every night. Come and get involved. There's a lot of people from YouTube who already have. So if you're not one of them yet, come and get involved. Other than that, that sums us up for another video. And I'll see you next time. Cheers!